This tutorial is one of many instructional videos presented by Olympus Industrial Equipment. This tutorial will provide you with detailed instructions on high dynamic range imaging within the Olympus Stream image analysis software. Many industrial samples contain both bright, highly reflective features as well as dark, less reflective features in the same field. This can present challenges when it comes to digital imaging. When the exposure time is set high to display detail on dark features, reflective features become overexposed, resulting in loss of surface detail. Conversely, if the exposure time is decreased to avoid glare on reflective features, dark features are underexposed and surface detail suffers as a result. To overcome this challenge, Olympus Stream offers a high dynamic range imaging option. By capturing a series of images at varying exposure times, then applying an appropriate tone mapping algorithm, the resulting composite image is composed of ultra-high contrast and excellent surface detail on every feature regardless of its reflectivity. This technique is best applied on samples containing inherently high and low reflectivity. To begin, activate the camera's live mode and choose manual exposure. Then focus on the sample. Check the Activate HDR box. Once HDR has been activated, you will notice the former Snap button transform into the HDR button. The exposure range must now be determined for HDR acquisition. The exposure range will determine both the highest exposure time for displaying detail on dark features as well as the lowest exposure time for displaying detail on bright features. The exposure range can be determined either automatically prioritizing convenience or manually for a greater degree of process control. To determine the exposure range automatically, press the Automatically button. After a few seconds, the exposure range is set. To determine the exposure range manually, press the Manually button. Following the on-screen instructions, adjust the exposure time to show sufficient detail on the bright features without overexposing any part of the image. Then click OK. Next, adjust the exposure time to show sufficient detail on the dark features without being underexposed. Then click OK. Because a high dynamic range image contains more colors than can be displayed on the monitor, a tone mapping algorithm must be applied. To choose an appropriate tone mapping algorithm, click the Acquisition Settings button. From the Acquisition menu, choose the HDR submenu. From here, you can select an appropriate output rendering or tone mapping algorithm. Each tone mapping algorithm accentuates image detail differently and can be chosen depending on which features of interest you wish to highlight. A detailed definition of each algorithm can be found in the online help accessible by clicking the question mark button. Please note that when performing tasks where pixel intensity is measured, such as image analysis, only the linear tone mapping algorithm is recommended. The exposure range increase determined earlier is automatically calculated and displayed in this window but can be changed if desired. This number denotes the factor by which the current exposure time is multiplied by to calculate the exposure range. For example, a 4 millisecond exposure time and 3 time exposure range increase will result in a 12 millisecond exposure range. The number of frames to be acquired during the HDR acquisition is automatically calculated and displayed in this window. A wide exposure range will require more frames whereas a short exposure range will require less frames. This value can be changed manually if desired. Choosing the option Auto Contrast After HDR automatically adjusts the image scaling after acquisition, further optimizing contrast. Choosing the Automatic HDR Preview option will display a preview of the HDR image immediately after the exposure range is determined. This way, you can conveniently decide if your exposure range is satisfactory or requires further adjustment prior to acquiring an image. 
The preview snapshot button is only recommended when stream is configured to archive images into the database or specified folder automatically after acquisition. By previewing the HDR image, the operator is not required to take the additional step of deleting the saved image should they be unsatisfied with the results. After all the acquisition parameters have been defined, click the HDR button to acquire the image. HDR image acquisition is now complete. As you can see, the HDR image displays a high level of detail on both bright and dark features with an unprecedented level of contrast. High dynamic range imaging is also supported in the Process Manager and is available with tools such as EFI, MIA, and time-lapse imaging. Once the HDR option is checked in the Camera Control tool window, it is activated in the Process Manager. In this instructional video, we have covered high dynamic range imaging with the Olympus Stream image analysis software. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions.